Oh, God. Good morning. I, uh, I, I feel terrible today. I've actually felt awful the last few days. I don't, I don't know if I'm sick. Um, I just don't feel good. I woke up today and I, I tried to make a pumpkin spice latte because it, it's raining. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll get into the full season a little early. And, uh, it's, it, it's just awful. <laughs> I tried to use almond milk. It's not good. This morning at 6 a.m., which is an ungodly hour that I was never going to be up for, they did a Pokemon Presents. Uh, Kim has already been showing me some things that she saw, but I, I was trying to keep my eyes pure. I'm very, very tired. Very, very sick, probably. So you'll have to forgive me. I feel like I always make excuses, but, uh, screw you. Hello. Hello everyone. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. I wonder if they have crossplay for that. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Oh, you can link. Okay, that's... that's kind of cool. Wait, is it? I, I thought to myself, that's cool, now I can take it on the go. What an idiot. What an idiot. Idiot. Pokemon mix. We can skip ahead a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. And new dress up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon. So this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed. I'm really glad they are doing Pokemon Legends because so, so much of Pokemon now is like staying young. You know how some franchises tend to grow up with their audience? Pokemon has stayed at like the same age range forever and a lot of us nostalgic old people hold on to that and we'll play Pokemon Sword and Shield even though it's the same thing it's kind of a kitty thing but like we like it don't judge us but so much of what they do is like I don't care you know I'm too old Pokemon Go which is celebrating okay, its fifth like anniversary will have five years already oh god sorry I had a bad coffee burp <laughs> Not actual gameplay footage. I love that they had to specify. Sorry, our games don't look good yet. <laughs> well, this is our first look at the new... The new visuals, right? Whatever they have changed. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Look, here's the thing. It, I think it does look a little better. Maybe I'm imagining it. If I hadn't seen the Let's Go games, I probably wouldn't bat an eye at this. I, I'd probably a little bit be like, eh, that looks a bit cheap, but it's fine. It's like a new version of an old game. But the fact that I've seen how good the Let's Go art style is, this is like, what? why didn't you just do that again? It just doesn't make sense. I, I, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry to keep pausing, but you remade the old games, like yellow, blue, red, whatever. And then you decide to remake the next ones and you don't do the same art style. You do a worse one. Like, not even objectively worse. Like, the lighting is gone, the shadows are gone, the textures, the models, the assets, like, everything is lower quality. Did you fire the team that made the last one and, and it was the budget smaller? Like, I don't get, I don't get what happened. That, that looks better, though. This is a really weirdly cut trailer. I like that they've, um, I like that they've kept seeing the Pokemon, though. That's nice. I like that. I think that's good. I, 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 I hate to keep complaining, but this trailer is cut so bad. This is like a fan-made trailer. The music is wrong. The weird zoom-ins on, on motionless NPCs. The default text. Ooh, oh, oh, God. They've literally just like mega zoomed in usually what you would do is create a graphic that way it wouldn't be so pixelated who edited this trailer and who approved it it's so strange everything about that game from its models to its its world to its trailer feels budget it's pokemon that's the thing it's pokemon i know oh my god shut up wood you're making people so mad it's the world's largest franchise. They have so much money. 
nothing they do should look cheap. I, I just don't get what Pokemon as a company is thinking when they do half the stuff that they do. They have so much money. That chibi model is so bad. Like, it's supposed to be a teenage boy. He looks like a balding middle-aged man. Is that just me? I, I feel like if I don't skip through this, I'm just going to keep complaining and upset everyone. So let me, let me just get out of here really quickly. Isn't that just Pokemon DS? Yeah, it's just that again. It's literally just that again. They just made, they just did that again. That's so low effort as well. It's not, it's just, it's just a gray console on the f front. There's nothing on the front. You got to go to the back and it's just, that might be the worst special edition Switch so far. Honestly, I think I, I think I like the Fortnite one more than that. All right, let me, let me, let me gear back up. You know, let me get back into the right mindset. I'm very tired. <laughs> we're good. We're good. This is going to be good. I'm excited for this. Where well, the lives of human and Pokemon were still separate. Oh, this is like a an origin story? All right, hold on. Let me get this in a higher quality here. What is this? 720? Who are we, broke? It's still so blurry. Why is it so blurry? Well, you know, visually it's... There's not... There's not much going on, but it, it don't look bad. It's, it's Breath of the Wild adjacent. Oh, look at that guy. Sneaking up on Pokemon. Dude, he's got balls in his hand. He's gonna throw them. Just gonna try and catch one, just like that. Cute. Oh, look at the Growlithe! Oh, he's so fluffy. Oh my god. Oh! No! You can just jump off a cliff and start flying? Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I like that. What is that fish thing? I haven't seen that before. That guy's kind of adorable. So there's new Pokemon in this too? I didn't expect any new Pokemon. I, it has a lot of really interesting concepts. Just looks a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. Contradicting myself, aren't I? January 28th. Okay, that's not too far away. I mean, we're about six months off of that. I've only, we've only seen one town. There might only be one town. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. Okay, so it's a, it's kind of got Monster in Hunter region, vibes in that, in that old. way. Okay, Pokemon battles. Let's see how this works. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will nice. begin. Pokemon okay, good. may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed. Oh, interesting. So it's not just turn for turn. If Lucario is much faster, He'll get to attack more often. That's cool. That's a very interesting change. That's a huge change for the franchise, honestly. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. That's unique. I like that. I, I like that they're me me messing around with things, trying some things out. But you can also decide how you want to attack. Do you want to attack a little stronger or a little faster? To the environment of the Hisui region. He's... he's... <laughs> So that's how they've explained this one away. They've adapted to live in this area. So he's grown all this extra fluff so he can be warm. But he also is just like a thick boy. Like even his legs look thicker. He's more red too. So from what I gather, it looks like, you know, the standard adventure that you can kind of tell. And then something happens and it makes a bunch of big Pokemon really angry. And those will be like really tough battles and you can try and catch them and if you catch them you can try and calm them down there's probably just the one big town i don't think the game is about going and exploring a world and and finding new locations and new towns and progressing through a story that way and then there's just this big open world fields and areas that you go out on with quests kind of like monster pretty much like monster hunter right like monster hunter rise you have the one town that you you live in you exist in and then you go out on hunts and I, I think they even called it hunts in this game at one point. So you're in your one town and then you go out on field expeditions or whatever, trying to catch these Pokemon, learn about the Pokemon, because this is like an origin story. So you're trying to figure it all out. And then you come back to the town. I real I love it though. Again, I again, it's ba it's baseline. It's bare bones what I've wanted, but it's a good starting point. Very exciting. It's good. 
and I like all of it, but it always blows my mind that this is the world's largest franchise. This is Pokemon, and this is their half hour event, and this is what their games look like in, in 2022. It's exciting as a Pokemon fan. You know, you do have to put it into perspective a little bit with what other companies and franchises are doing and what their games look like and how their games play, you know? And you, you would think that Pokemon... I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's exciting, but it's also like, man, I just wish they would get with the times a little bit more. But it's still exciting that they're, they're doing stuff. I don't really have a way of ending this. Like and subscribe. <sighs> Try, I'm trying to make actual videos here, and they keep doing these live events I have to talk about. I'm over it. Bye. <laughs>